Hey, it's Bree here from the Treehouse. So I spent all day um, working on installing this new tone. Uh, it's a exhaust fan. It has a speaker in it. It's wireless Bluetooth. I think it even has um, like Alexa to it. I'm not sure. I'm so tired at this point because I went back and I got another one because I thought the first one was defective. And, you know, I asked them at the Home Depot and they said, yeah, it's probably defective, just get another one. So I got another one, installed it, and same problem, no power. So I'm like, what the heck is going on? So after lots and lots and lots of research, reading through people's problems and answers, I came up with a solution. So I'm gonna walk you over to it and kind of tell you what happened. So first of all, I busted my finger, but good in the process of this, yeah, I know it's going to be so swollen tomorrow. Anyhow, so you don't use a wired switch for this. So you're going to, where before if you had a switch, you had um, hot coming in and hot coming out, you're going to wire those together. So that's one thing that you need to do, okay? Your white normally, your neutral is already wired together and then your brown, make sure, okay? So you're going to do that part of it. So you're not, you're not going to use... That's what you're going to use here. My bathroom is a disaster from this. It's a battery. It has two AAA batteries in it, so you're going to have to make sure those stay charged. Um, but what happened was, here's the key. So I would wire it, and I saw that there was hot wire going to the, you know, up there, but I wasn't getting any power. Well, here's the key. You have to when you go turn the breaker back on, make sure you turn your breaker off before you do any wiring. Um, when you go to turn it on, you have, I think, three minutes. Come back here. You don't want to be more than a few feet away from your from the light. Um, press down the white light. This is called the white light switch. Press that down for, I don't know, you know, like maybe 30 seconds or whatever. You'll see because the light will come on. And that's the magic, folks. <laughs> so... After all of that, I thought, you know, I went to Home Depot and they said, oh yeah, it's probably a defective exhaust fan, just get another one. I installed the second one and same problem. I was like, okay, there has to be something more to this and sure enough it is. So the key is, first of all, make sure that you wire your, from the switch, the black on black because you're gonna need power directly at the light, okay? And then make sure after you turn on your breaker, come here near your light hold this white light this one right here hold it down and until you see that light come on so now watch here i'm going to show you some cool things here let's see if i can get this see there's white i got that what other colors do i have oh look it's green yeah it's all off i'm, I'm still learning this so yeah, and then uh, orangeish color. It doesn't really show it in the in the video. Red. It's a purple. You can see the ambient light off of the sides. Yeah, so it's got a lot of different shades, and then it also has white light. I think you can make it dimmer. Turn it off. Your fan. So this is 110. I think it's called CPM. It's the um, amount you need, and it's per square foot. So you need one, I think it's CPM, don't quote me, um, one CPM per square foot. And my bathroom is about 10 by 11, so I needed 110, so I got 110. Um, I also have one in my um, water closet, but here's the deal. So you see here, I have this wonderful steam shower, and I want to have it installed. So that's the whole reason behind changing out my exhaust fan so that I can have a steam shower installed and I'll let you know how that all goes too but anyhow I hope this is helpful because it drove me nuts trying to figure out what the deal was here and that was the whole issue so anyhow have a great evening bye